Hey guys, it's Laura. Um, I just thought I'd come on here and um, show you what I I redid my prayer altar a little bit. I, I, I cleaned up some of my glass and I got that together and took away my advent stump and my, my green candle that was there and um, so I cleaned it up a little bit, put some new candles on. So, and I, I wanted to do a more detailed um, tour of my prayer space. So hopefully it gives somebody an inspiration to like have one on their own. Cause um, I am feeling better since um, somebody left me a comment on my video about me having questions about being Catholic and um, I really appreciate the time um, um, I'm not going to say their name because I don't know if I don't have permission for them to show them um, so but th I want to thank you for um, c commenting me commenting on my video and um, I just I prayed for you and um, so I hope um, just pray for me and, um, yeah, and, um, yeah, and, um, I, yeah, so I want to thank you for that. The, this, this is, um, a rosary that I made. It's like a mala style rosary. I made this. For, so I have, a, I have that there and um I have this box right here has my has some rosaries in it and I have this box right here this has um all my prayer cards in it and everything in it I keep that up on my altar and I have um, holy water from my church. I have St. Michael, um, St. Joseph, St. Therese, Therese. Um, I have a, um, a cross that my priest gave me. I have um, Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of Grace. Um, Our Lady of Fatima I got at the Padre Pio Shrine in Bartow. So, so I got that there. That's a really nice place if anybody lives close to um, Bartow, Pennsylvania, and um, would like to go see the Padre Pio Shrine. It's beautiful. You should go and see it. And I have um, the Divine Mercy picture, and I have um, St. Faustina and Our Lady of Grace, and I have some angels and um, my candle that I light. I just put a new candle there, and um, I have some stuff here. I have um, this rock has a Bible verse on it. These three, these now these three remain: faith, hope, love. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. So I have that, and I have Jesus Christ as Lord on that rock and I have um some um anointing oil um that I got at the bookstore and I have a heart that I got and I have my rock that um right there that has a heart on it I um when I was when I one thing that I, I regret deeply that I did to God was when I was a Wiccan and a Pagan. I would keep going back and forth between God and Wiccan and Pagan. And he would help me. And like, but I would run away from him for some reason. And um, go back to being Pagan and Wiccan. And when I went, one time I did that, he sent me a rock with a heart on it. And um, I always thought that was from my Pagan deities. But um, then God, I had a... Um, uh, God told me that um, he sent me that rock. That wasn't from, that was from God, from Jesus. He sent me that rock. So he missed, I guess he, he missed me 
and wanted me to come back, but I really, I didn't think, I didn't think that would ever happen either, because the last time I did that to him, which I would never do now, but I would never do that, um, uh, he got really mad at me for doing it, so I didn't think he would ever, he, he, I know he, I know he would forgive me, but, because he, he's faithful to forgive you, and there's no sin too great that God can't forgive, but, um, like, he got, he got really mad when I did that the one time. He got really mad. He told me, he said, if you, if it ever gets bad again, don't, don't call my name. Don't, don't talk to me. He told me that. So, um, yeah. And then, so, I didn't think that he would want me to, but he sent me that rock with the heart on it. And, um, and I heard that loud and clear when he did that. So he got really mad at me. And then, um, but I'll, I'll never do that again. And then, um, I have this piece of cloth. This is from, um, when I went to the Padre Pio shrine, they had saints there, um, that, um, so they had relics from saints and this piece of cloth touched every relic that every saint that was there at that piece of cloth did. And I have, um, that rock, that seashell and this rock are my first seashell and my first rock that my, my mom saved for me. And I have a tree heart rock and I have, um, some rabbit fur I found in my yard and, um, I have a horse cause I really like horses and I have, um, some um, saints that really, I gotta get off my knees, I'm sorry. I have, um, some saints that, that really, um, that help, that I pray to sometimes. Um, I have, um, Saint Maximilian Colby. I, I really like him. He's, I, I like him a lot. He's a really big inspiration. And I, I pray to him whenever I get scared that I'd be brave, because, he was in a concentration camp and, um, during the Holocaust, and he, he died for a man that had a family. So, when I get when I get really scared or when I have anxiety problems, I talk, I pray to him. And um, so, and I have um, Saint Peter, Saint Simon Peter. I really I don't know why, but um, I really like Simon Peter, and I'm not sure why I have a tendency to say things that I don't mean and um I like make big really big mistakes and I really like Simon Peter because he denied Jesus three times and Jesus forgave him so and um so there's that and I have um that statue right there I got at a thrift store um and I have Saint Dymphna for my mental health, and I have Padre Pio and St. Francis of Assisi and with his wolf, and I have St. Bridget, um, and I have, this has incense in it, that right there, like frankincense and myrrh that I burn in here, and there's another incense burner I use for stick incense, and this thing right here is a vigil lamp that I use. I, I don't have it lit because the last couple times I, I lit it. Um, I don't know if it's God or something. I don't know, but something keeps blowing it out or keeps going out by itself. And so I haven't had it lit for a while, so I'm not sure why, but it represents the Holy Spirit and, um, it burns in worship of God. So, um, I have oil in it, olive oil, and a little cork thing in there, and so, so I haven't had it lit. I think God may have done that because it's a fire. It might be he's worried about fire, but I'm not sure. And I have um back here. I have another statue of Saint Teresa of Lisieux, and um, she I found her at a thrift store. And that's Our Lady of Guadalupe and my crucifix that I have. 
And, oh, and I made this out of um, a railroad spike. It says, you're forgiven. I made that out of a railroad spike. And um, these are all the things that I've heard God say to me. Um, Jesus say to me, be at peace. It's okay. I will never abandon you. I love you, Laura. These are all the things that um, I've heard God tell me at church. And um, the Virgin Mary, um, follow my son. And um, see, I'm not. I'm not sure if that was the Virgin Mary or if that was my guardian angel. But I. I heard. I heard one time. I heard in church, "Don't give up, sweetie. Don't give up hope, sweetie." So, I did. Um. So. Those are all the things that I've heard God and the Virgin Mary tell me. And, um, so those, that's my prayer altar. And that candle right there, I light it so I don't have to keep lighting my, um, like other things around the, like my incense. And it's kind of like, I don't know, but I just, light it for, you know, decorative purposes. And it's the same thing with these two candles. Right there, they don't mean anything, but I just, sometimes I switch the colors because the season and, like, different holidays and stuff, but they're just for decoration. And, um, and, oh, I have this candle holder for my daily prayer, prayers, and, um, that candle holder has Bible verse on it, and um, my Bible, and my devotionals, and so that's like a detailed tour of what my prayer space is, my altar for, and I, yep, so I hope you like it, and I hope it inspires somebody to, to have one in their house, and um, uh, yeah, and, um, so, yep, it's just nice to have a place, like, if you can't get to church, like, churches were shut down during the pandemic, it's just a, a really nice thing to have, because you, you can have a prayer area in your house, like, for you to come and, um, pray, and, and be nice and, uh, close and, be nice and close to God, and, um, so you, you don't, have to, um, see, yeah, because I, I really miss church when that happened. We should have never shut down. I don't know what the church was thinking, but I don't, I don't think any church should have closed during the pandemic. So, yeah, I thought that, I think that was a mistake. I hope that never happens again, because I was without the Eucharist, and that was so hard. I was, that's, uh, the two things I, I love about being Catholic are, is the Eucharist, and, um, I can go to church every day, whenever I want. I can go to church every day if I want to. And, um, that's what I love about being Catholic. And so, and I have, um, Rejoice in the Lord up top there. And so I, th I think that's it that I have to say. And, um, I love you guys. And I hope, um, everyone has a good new year. Happy new year. And, um, yeah. So, alright. Love you. Bye.